And here's Vern. All right to Chitna. <laughs> Let the adventure begin. Pretty much the same setup than last year when we were going to Casilla. This time it's going to be Chitna. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Our plans got changed again by the uh, Alaska weather. We were actually planning on going to Iliamna either tonight or tomorrow. But weather forecast is not looking good at all. We could have made it tonight, but then we would have been stuck probably until early or mid next week, which we can't really do. So anyway, we changed the plans and we came to a quick decision to uh, where my buddy Vern and I are going dip netting down to Chidna. Tasha's is gonna stay around our homestead this weekend. She caught a really bad cold last week. So that'll give her a chance to enjoy, relax. Like I said, take care of the animals and the plants. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish down there and everything's going smooth. We are hoping to get down there uh, somewhere around 9 or 10 p.m. tonight. made it to Glen Allen. We're just gonna get some water here. Anyway, we're doing good on time. A little breezy, that helps to keep the mosquitoes away. And we got everything fueled up. We got ice for the coolers, and we're gonna be heading to Chitna in a few minutes. We're full? It's full. Right on. Let's go camp. Let's go camp. <laughs> get away from these bugs. Yeah, we just did a quick little stop. I want to show you guys um, this lookout here. So whenever you travel south of Glenallen, I think it's only like a mile and a half south of Glenallen, there's this beautiful spot. You can pull out, take a quick break, and walk down a little trail. You got a really, really good view of the Copper River. This is it. Mighty Copper River. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We can never run out of time, sip a strawberry lime. You know I wanna shoot with you, shoot with you, shoot with you. Hey baby, if you're looking for some grace, Hungry. Well, we decided we're gonna head down to the creek and check this place out. We haven't been here before. And maybe we'll go a little bit along that trail and see where there's uh, some cool fishing spots for us. So here's a little historical part. This trail here used to be the rail bed for the, uh, I'm not quite sure what they call that railroad, but it goes from Cordova all the way to Kennecott. 
all the rails were removed now, so people just use the uh, the trail for fishing and just checking out the scenery and everything. So it's pretty cool to be here where the railroad used to travel. Here we go, we got the nets ready and we're heading down to the river. So where's the trail going? Huh? There's our first salmon. That's the old gentleman. Yeah, right we're trying. There's no hole in that net, though, I think. Yeah, right. I know. Whew. Tired. Day one's over. It is one, what did we say? 1.35. And we're going to sleep three hours. Wake up, have some coffee and breakfast, and we're going to hit the river again. All right, guys, see you in the morning. Good night. Good. So how long did we sleep now? Uh, one, th three hours. Is it three? What they call it. Yeah, wind or no, mm -hmm. wind or no wind, I think it's we might have enough pretzels for the trip. <laughs> that thing is huge. Yeah, don't forget those. We can even start passing them out on the trail if anybody's like, I'm starving. Right? All right, ready for some fish. Let the adventure begin. Yeah. There's a section of the old railroad back in the days when they were shipping copper down to Cordoba. That's pretty cool to see that actually. And then here is the trail we're using right now. Try to find a good spot where we can start dip netting. This is too cool. Look at this structure, it's still standing. That's how this. That's how this train went across all these creeks. You know, look at this. Huh? Hey, you got a good sized net there. <laughs> Not a whole lot of luck so far, but I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna take my net and a little bit upstream or just hike to it back this way and then back down there's a really nice big eddy and plenty of room to stand the biggest challenge is to get the net through the woods so i'm gonna get the net and see if i can slowly work my way back there here's my new spot there's a really nice big eddy next to me and this rock is literally holding my uh, my net so all i need now is a big fish to get in the net okay so if you look at the uh, middle of the river the water is blasting to my right very strong current and then when the water comes around these bends, hits another big uh, formation of rocks, it kind of goes around it and it creates what they call a, ba uh, a back eddy, like a swirl. And the water goes in the opposite direction. So the salmon are going upstream and this current right in front of me going upstream 
usually brings the fish right to your net. Okay, I think I found the spot. Let me show you. I'm gonna turn around here. See right here where that rock is kind of in the water and you can see the swirls of water coming right next to it. I think that's where they're coming through. I had like one in the net, I lost it. Another one hit and the third one is here. Woo! Hey, there you go. Oh yeah, that, that is a beauty. Well, there's a couple. I'm going to head up real quick, put them on ice, and then bring some uh, back down. Yeah, that is a big one. Wow. Pen size. <laughs> that, is, that is a big boy. Wow. Well, they're coming through here. Yeah. Back on the trail, and then Vern's got the second half of the salmon. Quite the workout, huh? Yeah, it is. Hang on, I'll give you a hint. I put half the amount already in the side by side on the back. Okay, looking at the side by side, you kind of get an idea how big this bridge actually is. Show you guys the uh, village of Chitna. We uh, took a little break, had some dinner at the camper, and uh, took a little snooze because we only slept uh, three hours last night. So, but now we're gonna go drive through Chitna and show you around a little bit. Sunny Chitna. Sunny Chitna. Definitely a place to check out when you come to Chitna. It's, uh, what was it called again? Yeah, it's Uncle Tom's Tavern. Uh-oh, I've done that before. <laughs> it's, it's like a museum here. Lots of historical things about Chitna. And... The historical corner. Okay, we're gonna head to the uh, the main river, and we're going across the bridge. And we're still looking for the general store. Oh, there, there it is. The store. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, there's the cabin up there. Okay, so we found the general store in Chitna. Let's see what they got. Get refrigerated supplies, drinks, meats, cheese, and everything, some bread. Not bad. Got an ATM. And then just all kinds of different items from dog food to, let's see, soda pops. Oh, oh, and there is shampoo. You guys need shampoo.
Thing that thing weighs like 35? 30, 30. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Why is he all beat up? How about a picture like that? I'll, I'm videoing so oh, you can yeah? cut it. King me, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Number 40. And we are done. We're gonna wrap up. Get everything collected down here, and then we have. One, two, three, four trips to make up the steep hill. So we got plenty to do before we uh, can call a game over. But anyway, we got 40 fish plus one king. Awesome. <laughs> We're in good shape. Give you a little idea in size difference. Definitely one of the funnest places out here, that's for sure. I mean, look at this. We got our fish, we got everything cleaned up. We're gonna be heading back to camp, load up the uh, side by side, and uh, we're heading back to the valley. It was a fantastic uh, weekend. Weather was really good for us too. We had a beautiful day yesterday, and then today when we got all the fish taken care of, it kind of cooled down a little bit, so that was helpful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And don't forget, like and subscribe. See you guys. Thank you. Fishing holes for days and far